Alright, then I believe too. And with that, there's only one thing left to say. Let's rev it up! Alright guys, welcome back. So I'm going to show you guys a few gameplays of the deck in action. Like going first and establishing itself. Uh, except for this one, this one's going second. <laughs> and in and, and some of these games, I'm playing uh, the Strikes and Barriers. Because they're just so good, man. Like there's no, there's no denying that barrier and strikes are, are extremely powerful. And um, of course, when you when you play budget, when you're playing rogue, and especially if you're playing rogue and budget, it, you kind of have to like, oh man, you 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 really have to like find a way to make it work. Because otherwise, if you want to play competitively, you 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 can't you can't ignore the fact that those cards are just good. Like they are, they're just they're just good. And um, playing uh, it just makes it just makes it so significant. Um, like w without it, you can tell the difference, and with it, you can tell the difference as well. Like it's just insane. But um, like just uh, I, I want I just I just want to show you guys what it can do. I guess the whole the whole concept theory um, of why I, I, I'm actually considering this deck because it's like yeah, of course you right away you. you, you First thing that comes to mind is okay, Dark Lord Toad. Like, but how? What happens if, if it gets broken? What happens if, like, what happens if things don't go right and things just don't uh, solidify how you, you they're meant to solidify? And um, like I said, like if you, if you open up Dark Lord Toad, it's just hard, especially with Paleo back up with the Paleo backed up. It's just like. It's just really, it's hard to play around, especially if they don't open up with a board wipe or a chalice, and which is why with Toad's there, reason for why it's good. Because <laughs> before it was just Dark Law and you couldn't protect Dark Law, so it's like, oh, then Toad came along, and it was just a significant help. That, it's just insane, because you just get any any water monster back, and with this build, you have your frogs. So it, it adds that element of, of grind, where the deck itself couldn't do that before, and, um, uh, from what I found, I thought that 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 was the weakness of the deck. Like it couldn't grind. Like it, it just couldn't. Of course, you could have top decked into a dark well, but then even then, um, it just it just was wouldn't be enough on its on its own. And the the standard build was really basic and really linear to where if if your setup was broken, it, there was just literally no coming back. Like there there was no way you can properly set up again because the best setup is just having dark law and, and toad, and that's it. There's no way of of like kind of slow rolling things where with paleo you, it kind of gives the element of that like like either just timing things properly and and being able to slow roll certain cards so you can set up and put yourself in a in a specific si situation to um be able to uh, manipulate the outcome because at the end of the day paleo is like a, like it's a really sticky situation like it is I just, <laughs> this is freely oh my god it's been crazy but um yeah, like so far I'm liking it. Um, I'm, I'm, I'll put the deck list here. All right, so here's, um, I, like I mentioned before in the previous video, I took out the Soul Charge, the reinforcements of the army, and the second Ronin Totter, because this, this is really good, man. Right? Against Zoo, I mean, of course it sucks. It sucks like, sucks a lot against Draco because it does nothing against them, like completely useless. So of course you don't have the main. It just, I just felt comfortable maining it because like. It's a good top deck if you just top deck and set it and just forget it like dude oh it's it's done man especially if a dark law like it's a dark <laughs> all this stuff gets banished and um it serves like an equalizer because every, all these are pretty much one for ones except for this one this is like a minus one because they either keep their monster so this would be preferably be a strike which would be much infinitely better because it gets rid of the it gets rid of this, the problem i mean of course it, it kind of makes up for it because you can use it again so it, it, it stops it once and it stops it twice, whereas strike can just get rid of the problem altogether. So I don't know. I guess. I mean, they're both. The, I guess they're good, but it's just a counter trap it makes it really good. And um, but yeah, so like these are like all one for ones. Like you just pop, 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 and then you have a setup. And then this is like an equalizer, pretty much, because like one card gets rid of multiples, whereas that's what the deck lacks. Because you can't keep one from oneing right now, because everything just it's so advantageous with the Draco pops that they're. They get to pop twice. Uh, it's just insane. It's very really dried in as well. Have a consistent um, popper on board that can do it every single turn. It's it's just too much. So you need an equalizer. So that's what it serves as. 
and um, the extra leg seems pretty good. Like, of course, uh, I, I think I might end up like getting a tornado dragon because tornado dragon is really good. Like, it's like it's kind of like um, it's just it's just end phasing everything. It's just really really good. And um, side deck, it's pretty good. Like, go in second. You kind of need this because going second sucks like it, it really does <laughs> right now it really, it really does because everyone's so 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 um uh so for it like they want to make this board and or have this uh, kind of this pretty much that like they want to have this board and uh and the, the ocg is not really like it kind of is like that but it's not like if you think about ocg they're much more um conservative they 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 tend to gravitate towards traps more and which reasons why they're their decks are just much less aggressive. I mean, of course, Dark Synchro was like one of the one that keeps com comes to mind. But most of the decks, like you, uh, you watch uh, OCG players play, they they are they're always setting like and and then and it's just it's just very different. But anyways, that's gonna be it. Uh, hope you hope you the video. Try, try it out. Let me know what you think. Um, make some changes. And so far, I'm liking the one Ronin because it, it just seems right. Like you do, you do not want it to clog. But that's gonna be it. <laughs> hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.